The answer is to love everyone. Yeah, I mean, you can so love everybody, everybody, but you can hate their sin. Well, you know, we are called we, to love everybody. We all everybody. differ on what we think is sin. Okay, no, you know, we don't. if you went to every church, you would find someone. You even in your own church, you're going to find people who. We are. You, yes. You're, yeah, you know. I, so I mean, I, you're, you're, I are you going to hate their? You know, I mean, go I ahead. Understand hate, that. hate I, what I, you think I, is sin. I understand that, but you can't preach. Uh, you can't say that it's not sin. You can it's preach homosexuality love. sin. It's homosexuality sin. You, you can preach That's love. love. Okay. So it's all about love. That's all that So what about the truth part? No. What about the truth part? Are you sure about that? Positive. What about the truth part? How can you be so sure? Because if he truly loved, if a man truly loved his boyfriend, then he would break up with him knowing that they were both going to hell because of what they're doing. Because of love. That would be love. Because of love. So you're saying people are going to hell because of love. No, how, why isn't it love? No, no, because if they loved one another, they would stop doing it. Why? Because it's leading to hell. Why is it leading to hell if it's Because love? God says it's leading to hell. You're saying love is leading to hell. No, I'm saying that their love, I'm saying that, that is actually lust, what if, well, is I leading mean, them to hell. This is where we can disagree, because I don't think it is lust. I so, think it's so love. what is the definition of love? I think love is caring about another no. person. or The Bible defines life. it. God any is life. love. God and is, what is God? Okay, God is more than love. What are the attributes okay, of part of God? Hate sin. So hate is sin. Is hate, of, hate part of God? Hate God is, is everything. Sin. God is everything. He's not everything. He's everything. not sin. So there's not something sin. beyond God? Yeah, he's not sin. So you're, there's something beyond God? He's not sin. God is everything. Okay. Think about that. He's not sin. God is everything. Okay. So you, uh, and if you don't believe that, then you think that there's something I think God controls beyond. everything. I don't think he is everything. Okay. God, God is God. everything. Okay. God is everything. Do you have a Bible verse for that? Huh? Romans God 6 is everything. What's, what is more powerful than God? Is God? Nothing. That doesn't mean he's everything. He is. He everything. is omnipowerful. Yes. God is everything. That's what I believe. I believe God is everything. Well, I, I pray you come to the truth. I see you haven't come any further than you did a couple years ago. I don't need to come further. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm loving, and That's I'm debatable. here to, you know, just say, you know, you guys are welcome. We welcome everyone. You know. So, and we all are brothers. Jesus it wasn't flesh and blood. We all no, no, no. Are. He said, these are my brothers and sisters. He's Who? pointing to Jesus. We're here following Jesus. He was not pointing to the Romans. We're, he was not pointing understand? to people that are crucified. I'm not Roman. Him. I'm a Jesus follower. I'm a disciple. Okay. I'm following Jesus. He said to love. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, there's multiple Jesuses? That people make okay, Jesus so up in their mind all the time. Right here, here, let's... Oh, we're, we're just in, listening to... Uh, just sorry. Sorry. Okay, but who do you say is the, the right person to read? So, so you say you don't have the spirit of God? I mean, I'm, I mean, if, if you're affirming like the things they all affirm, like that's like, that's a wrong So if spirit. we're different from you, you mean? What's that? If we're different from you, yeah, it's not about us. We're, you're, you're we're just saying, following the Bible. That's it. You're different you're, from the Bible. That's you're the problem. saying that you believe that homosexuality homosexuality is lust. Yes. And you're saying if someone doesn't agree with me, then they're wrong and I'm right. That's not what homosexuality is lust. Exactly what homosexuality is as much yeah. lust as it's pedophilia just is someone lust. Someone else maybe doesn't believe the same as you. It doesn't so, mean they're going to hell. What we believe. So when are you going to migrate into believing in pedophilia is love? This is what we the Bible says. That before. That's this is what the Bible pedophilia says. is abuse. Do you understand that? And homosexuality that's not is abuse too. No, it's too. But that's love though. What if they love children? Okay. Because the child. But that's love though. The child isn't a consenting adult. Adult. But, it's, but that's you love. You see though. the difference? No, it's not love. love. It's abuse. But I'm saying abuse but is love. Is love it's though. abusing. Right. Okay, it it's literally abuse. says. It literally it's says abuse. abusing. There, there's different it's abuse. Levels. It's abuse. Like you don't. You don't. You don't, you don't have love. a consenting adult. It's abuse. Mom, I'm saying if it's an right. animal, it's abuse. You guys get that? Of course, sir. Okay. Yeah, homosexuality is none of that. Hey, what's it's love? What is love? Consenting adult. Could you choose to be? It, it, it could you choose nature. to be with another man? So we're so we're talking about abuse here. So wait, wait, hold on. So we're talking about abuse here. Can you? So we're talking about. Of course, of course, you can You could choose that. Yeah, it's a sinful choice. You are bisexual because that means you are attracted to another man. You're at least bisexual. You are. That's not true. You're just making the choice. I said because there's a choice. You're making. You're. You are. That that is that is that is not true, sir. Are you attracted to other men? Absolutely not. Okay. So well, a homosexual, a homosexual is not attracted to the opposite sex. It's not lust. 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 It's not lust
So this is the definition of love. You wanted the definition of love. You can read me one thing in there, and that is what Jesus said at the Last Supper, his one commandment. Read me that. There's two so, nothing else. It, so you're just not judge. You can count that. Too. So you're just like Pilate. That's a judge. So you're just like Pilate when you say what is truth and then you turn away. Read the rest. You're just of the like verse. Pilate when you say what is truth and then you walk away. I I know what truth is and that is to love each other. That's, that's, that's what I'm trying to do with you guys. It's truth that you love God. Person. Love God first, then love each other as yourself. That's the command that you left. First, love God first. Jesus said love each other as I've loved you. Secondly, first he said love God. Well, it's all about love. Come on. It's all about love. If you love God, you'll follow His Praise commands. Praise the Lord. Love. It's not about judging. Okay. And if, we're, not, uh, if we're not getting anywhere you, with you, man. You Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Have a good day. Right Have a good day. Right. Have a good day. Scripture says... You don't want to listen. Scripture says... I just... You know, Scripture says... John... You know more than me because you used to have... Chapter 10. Story. I remember that. And I remember... He said he's a good shepherd. I remember how sad... He cares for his sheep. Because... Of, he laid his life down for the sheep. He's a good shepherd. Laid his life down for the sheep. And the Bible says that when he returns, he's gonna separate the sheep from the goat, the wheat from the tares. That's what he's gonna do. And the Bible says that when he retires, he's gonna have his award in his hand. He's gonna reward every man according to his doing. According to his deeds. How can you judge if you don't? And the scripture says that that the heart is deceitful, wicked above all. Who can know it? There are many people that allow their heart to control them. Not a heart to lead them to a dark place. They say, follow your heart. When the scripture says that the heart is deceitful, wicked above all. Who can know it? God knows it. He tries to write. He knows the heart. He knows the very intention. If Jesus, of the heart. Right, if Jesus was here right now, and the Bible says, if Jesus was here right now, he would say, "Depart from me." That he I never knew that. You. That's what he would say. You want to move that? You don't say, know him. Heart of stone and give you your heart of give flesh. All of us a big hug you and don't say, know "You him. are my brothers." He said, "Come to him." I feel sad. I feel sad. I feel sad. I feel sad. I'm talking about Jesus. Jesus loved every homosexual. Come to him. Every Lesbian, come to him. Lesbian, transgender, come to him. Fornicator, backbiter, porn watcher, come to him. When that unforgiveness in their heart, come to him. Come to your creator. The one that created male and female. Well, I pray this word fell on good ground. I'm just saying there's different levels of love. I pray this word word fell on good ground today. As much as I love myself, yeah, but what about good to say one plant, one water, God get increase. What does that have to do? Come to the building, cannot save you. How do you know? God, you get inside their head and their He's body. the one that's able to say, deliver and make whole. First off, well, first off, the Bible defines marriage, right? Come to him. Does it not? Yes or no? It doesn't matter. Because even Jesus didn't follow it, it, Come to him. Jesus, 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 Jesus defined marriage. How does that not matter? Jesus Come defined on. marriage. That's Open not up true. your eyes. Isn't that Open up your eyes. You don't think Willfully ignorant. Willfully ignorant. <laughs> Like, and if you, if all, all you want to read is love. You think Jesus defined marriage? Love. You really think that? Yes, he did. You don't he think did. there was such a thing as marriage before Jesus? Yes, Genesis 3. Okay, then how could Jesus invent it? Because he's God. He's God. <laughs> he was there at the beginning yeah, with God, the Father. God invented everything then, okay? Jesus is okay. God. God invented everything. We're all part of God. We all are no, part no, of God. God. Jesus is part of God. I'm part, part, part of God. There's two children. We're all part children of, of God. Children of God, children of Satan. We're all part of God. I was in there listening to a sermon when you were out here trying to disrupt one. What do you think Jesus would think of that? All Disrupting right. sermons. How would you like it if someone came wrong. and told you guys, you know, you're wrong? See, I don't even tell you you're wrong. I, I tell you we're all love. That's because you don't think anybody's wrong. Yeah. No, you know, right, we, right. We, we believe in, you know, not judging. So don't, no. we don't judge you. We pray for you. Righteous judge. Y'all pray. A righteous man judgeth all things. We don't judge. We pray. We love. Mm -hmm. You guys. I love all you guys. And, and judgment starts at the house of God, sir. Uh, hopefully you'll change your mind next time. You
you were even getting over that. <laughs>